I am Professor Ligia Russo from University of Craiova Sports Medicine and Physiotherapy Department and I will present the presentation about the pain medication, a short overview of pain medication groups and side effects. What is pain management? Pain management requires a multidisciplinary healthcare team to address accurately and individually pain control for patients. For this reason, we need follow-ups which must include a complete history and physical examination to alert for side effects or signs of addition. In this sense, patient education is crucial and providers need to have attention to the patient's symptoms and complaints to provide the best health care possible and avoid any adverse effect. The definition of pain is an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience associated with or resembling that associated with actual or potential tissue damage. This is the definition that uh, are uh, in this moment since 2020 and uh, it was the definition uh, which uh, was established by International Association for the Study of Pain. What we have to know is about the different classes of pain. How we know the pain classification is based on origin and based on duration. Regarding based on duration, we speak about neuropathic pain, that means pain arising from nervous system, radicular pain, that means pain arising from spinal cord, or nociceptive pain, pain arise from tissue damage, which could be involved in visceral pain or somatic pain. Regarding classification based on duration, we can speak about chronic pain, uh, which means that is a long-lasting pain, or acute pain, which means short, intense pain. If uh, we think uh, to all types of pain uh, and try to follow up the uh, types of pain, we can conclude that the pain could be acute and chronic and this is the base definition of pain. Inside of acute we can speak about post-surgical pain, headache or trauma. In chronic pain we will meet all four type of uh, pain with nociceptive pain, neuropathic, mixed or visceral. What about nociceptive pain? We uh, meet this in uh, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, so this is the chronic and persistent pain. What about neuropathic? This could be central or peripheral. Central pain we will meet in post-stroke, multiple sclerosis, spinal cord injury or phantom pain. And peripheral neuropathic pain would be used in, meet in post-herpetic neuralgia, diabetic neuropathy, heave related neuropathic pain. About mixed pain, uh, here are some controversies about what, where we find this and uh, uh, normally and usually they uh, include lower back pain, cancer or fibromyalgia. And in uh, terms of visceral pain, uh, according to the definition, we will be involved internal organs, pancreatitis, inflammatory bowel syndrome. About evaluation of pain, how we know the main and the major uh, scale used for um, uh, assessment of the pain is a, a visual analog scale from 0 to 10, from no pain to worst pain possible. What we have to do and uh, in uh, terms of uh, pain medication is start from the impact of the pain. And in this case, we can uh, um, approach the pain in terms of the 
uh, fields that could be uh, affected by the pain and not only in one sense by but also vice versa in this sense we can speak about the pain in relation with mood in relation with mobility social life family life concentration work sleep or fatigue all of these are associated with pain and could be involved influence in product and uh, maintain the pain or limited the pain and uh, these are uh, the main and holistic approach of this uh, pain what about the pain management strategies are four direction drug treatments non-opioid opioid regional techniques psychological methods education reassurance patients physical methods acupressure manipulation cool or heat packs or remove cause means splitting, bone dressings, vacuum mattress, secure stretcher. And now what about the pain management medicamentation medication? Our three direction that uh, we'll present in uh, the following means indication and contraindication, mechanism of action, adverse event profile. Analgesics include non-opioid analgesic agents and opioid agents. Non-opioid analgesic agents could be classified in five uh, components acetaminophen, paracetamol, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, antidepressant medication, anti-epileptic medication or local anesthetics. About the mechanism of action, we will present, uh, present any of these uh, types of uh, non-opioid analgesic agents. And we start with acetam acetaminophen paracetamol, which is his, its mechanism. Mechanism of action for this drug remains until now also unclear. This inhibit a different variant of cyclooxygenase enzyme, diminished activity of this enzyme, pathway leads, and generate a decrease of prostaglandin synthesis in the central nervous system. So, induce analgesia by inhibitory pathway of serotonergic and antipyresis by action to uh, hypothalamic heat regulating center. About non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, its mechanism, its inhibition of the same enzyme, cyclooxygenase enzyme, therapy inhibiting prostaglandin synthesis, the same like paracetamol, and the main uh, and the very uh, use of uh, one of these non-steroidal uh, steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs is aspirin, non-acetylate uh, salicylate diflunisal, propionic acid like ibuprofen, naproxen, acetic acids, indomethacin, diclofenac, enolic acid, meloxicam, piroxicam, naftilalanine, mabupenton, and selective COX-2 inhibitors like selecoxib or etorixoxib. About the rest of the non-opioid analgesic agents mechanism of action, in terms of uh, this, antidepressant medication means uh, tricyclic antidepressants and selective serotonin or norepinephrine inhibit the reuptake of two neurotransmitters means uh, serotonin and noradrenaline this uh, mechanism of inhibition increase the descending inhibitory pathways of central nervous system related to pain about the anti-epileptic medication uh, very useful is uh, gabapentin and pregabalin which are ligands to the 
alpha and delta subunit of uh, the voltage dependent calcium channels which overexpress in patients with neuropathic pain. By reducing this calcium dependent release of excitatory neurotransmitters, this drugs decrease neuronal excitability. Local anesthetic is uh, most useful in uh, local application is uh, lidocaine stabilizes the neuronal membrane by inhibiting sodium ion channels on the internal surface of nervous cells membranes. By this way, the pain conduction through nerve impulses becomes impaired and the site of action which contributes to the absence of systematic systemic effect. Administration of non-opioid analgesic agents. Acetaminophenone or paracetamol normally is used in uh, orally administrated like tablet, capsules, uh, syrup, oral solution or suspension, or rectally administration or intravenously. Uh, normally dose of this is uh, about uh, uh, 650 milligrams to 1000 milligram every four to six hours a maximum of four grams by day non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs currently uh, are a lot of uh, different non-steroidal anti-inflammatory in the commerce but the choice depending of uh, their side effects the uh, about uh, the importance of administration about the association with any other um, medication and in this term we have to know something about each of these about aspirin acetyl salicylic acid the normal dose it's about 325 to 615 milligram every four to six hours not more than 4000 milligram by day diclofenac 50 milligram every eight hour no more than 150 milligram by day ibuprofen it is dosed 400 milligrams every four to five to six hours the maximum my, uh, daily dose is 3,200 milligrams in acute pain or 2,400 milligrams in chronic pain. Regarding indometacin, it uh, has a uh, limited uh, release and uh, the maximum daily dose is 25 to 50 milligrams every 8 to 12 hours. Controlled release 75 milligram once or twice by day and no more than 150 milligrams by day. Meloxicam dosing is uh, 7.5 to 15 once daily, not more than this dose. Naproxen 250 to 500 milligrams every 12 hours or 275 to 550 milligrams every 12 hours. The maximum is 1250 milligrams in acute pain or 1000 milligrams uh, in chronic pain. And celecoxib 200 milligrams daily or 100 milligrams at 12 hours, no more than 400 milligrams by day. The next uh, uh, medication that uh, are used it's antidepressant medication means amitriptyline uh, which is very known in treatment of the pain uh, among the tricyclic antidepressant and selective uh, serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitory amitriptyline has the best documented analgesic effect respectively Dosing is uh, 25 to 150 milligrams oral, once daily or in two divided doses. The maximum single and daily doses are 75 milligrams and 150 milligrams respectively.
are too important uh, antiepileptic medication gabapeptin and pregabalin gabapeptin normal doses is 300 to 600 milligrams orally could, that could be a capsule tablet solution three times per day with a not more than 1800 milligrams and pregabalin 300 to 600 mg by day orally in two divided doses. Local anesthetic, lidocaine, how we know its action on the cell membranes. Uh, this could be a solution with concentration of 1.8 or 5%. Apply one three patches to dark skin for up to 12 hours by day. It is available presentation include topical, solution, creams, gel or lotions. What about adverse effect? Documented adverse effect depend on the route of the administration. Depend on the doses, depend on the uh, associate medication de depend on the type of uh, pain. Orally or rectally could be the administration, intravenously administration, and in terms of this, in uh, regarding paracetamol, the possible adverse effects could be anemia, neutropenia, hyponatremia, hypocalcemia, hyperglycemia nose, vomiting, pruritus, constipation, or abdominal pain. Non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, of course, has a lot of adverse effect on the cardiovascular system, gastrointestinal system, renal or central nervous system. And what are these? To gastrointestinal level, the adverse effect of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, drugs could be anorexia, dyspepsia, abdominal pain, ulcer, gastrointestinal hemorrhage. Cardiovascular system, hypertension, myocardial infarction, stroke and thromboembolic events. Renal, salt and water retention. Central nervous system, headache, dizziness, vertigo, confusion, depression. Amitriptyline has also some adverse effect uh, in terms of altered mental status, arrhythmia, constipation, dizziness, headache, increased risk of suicidal orthostatic hypotension. Gabapeptin has a lot of uh, uh, psychological psychiatry field of uh, adverse effect like dizziness, somnolence, ataxia, peripheral edema, confusion, suicidality, depression or fever. Lidocaine has a local adverse effect like pruritus, erythema or skin irritation. Indication and contraindication for a paracetamol, it is in according with adverse effect or with the types of uh, pain. Indication, it is indication especially for mild to moderate pain, moderate to severe pain, and temporary reduction of fever. Should not be used for neuropathic pain since there is no documented effect. Contraindication, hypersensitivity to acetaminophen or any of its excipients, severe hepatic impairment also. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs indication. These drugs are used for mild to moderate pain, pain associated with inflammation and not indicate in neuropathic pains because also is no documented effect. And contraindication, family history of gastrointestinal disease, bleeding, uncontrolled hypertension, renal disease, peptic ulcer, history of personal gastrointestinal bleeding. Antidepressant medication are indication in, uh, uh, and his indication is in uh, first line of treatment of pain, 
and um, its effect have demonstrated the efficacy in a variety of neuropathic pain, fibromyalgia, chronic musculoskeletal pain, and also it's indicating like prophylactic treatment of migraine. Contraindication in hypersensitivity, recent myocardial infection, or arrhythmia. Indication of contraindication of anti-epileptic medication. Uh, of course, the main indication is neuropathic pain, but also contraindication in hypersensitive to this drug or any of its excipients, several renal impairment. Local anesthetic indication also in peripheral neuropathic pain and not uh, indication, contraindication in a situation of previous history of sensitivity to any local anesthetic. The next classes of agents that could be used in treatment of pain are opioid agents are a broad class of medication with, with structural resemblance to the natural plant alkaloid found in opium. But what are the opioid agents? Are a lot of discussion about this kind of agents. One of these controversial because of their potential for addiction, tolerance and side effects. Also, the lowest effective dose and for the shortest expected duration. Most effective and widely used drugs in treating severe pain, acute and chronic pain treatment. This is an aspect that could be uh, taken into account uh, when we uh, decide to administer opioid agents. What about the mechanism of action? Uh, they have two uh, level of action, presynaptically and postsynaptical action. Level of presynaptical action is uh, uh, in connection with um, the property to block the calcium channels or nociceptive afferent nerves, those inhibiting the release of neurotransmitters to postsynaptically level, opioid enhance the activity of potassium channels, hyperpolarizing cell membranes and increasing the required action potential to generate a nociceptive neurotransmission. In 2019, it was elaborated guidelines about American Pain Society guidelines for uh, administration of opioid agents and uh, the clinician uh, should evaluate the benefits of and arms with patient within one to four weeks of starting opioid therapy for chronic pain. About the acute pain and administration of opioid, three days or less will often be sufficient more than seven days will rarely be needed. When opioids are started, clinicians should prescribe the lowest, lowest effective dose. Adverse effects of opioid agents are on three categories, dysphoria, euphoria, sedation, constipation, nausea, and vomiting, cardiovascular disorders, respiratory depression, skeletal muscle rigidity, tolerance if uh, we have a chronic application, physical dependence, chronic application, opioid-induced hyperalgesia and or allodynia in chronic application. Contraindication, several of course, respiratory instability, acute mental instability or high suicidal risk, hepatic or renal impairment, family or personally history of substance abuse, intolerance, serious adverse effect or lack of e efficacy to other structurally similar opioids, and 
change on electrocardiography like QTS interval over 500 milliseconds. Possible treatment options for different types of pain are the next acute pain. We have two choice non steroidal and inflammatory, weak opioids, non pharmacological treatments such as ice or bioelectric therapy. In chronic pain, we recommend non opioids, weak opioids, opioids, antidepressants. In nerve pain, antidepressants, anticonvulsivants, lidocaine, non-pharmacological treatment such as cognitive behavioral therapy. When we decide to make the treatment and to follow a specific way for uh, pain treatment, we have to take in consideration three steps in pain management. What means that in first step, use in addition to non-pharmacological, emotional and social treatments, the main choice is paracetamol and non-steroidal inflammatory. In steps two, based on considered scheduled regular treatment or increased pain medication strength, we use weak opioid combination treatments with paracetamol or ibuprofen. And in step three, consider a changing method of delivery. The choice could be strong opioids, ketamine, neuromuscular blocking agents. And this is the steps that we have to take in consideration when we plan the pain management treatment. In chronic neuropathic pain guidelines, which is very frequently and very uh, hard to treat, from different countries offer consistent recommendation for treating neuropathic pain. Effective first and second line therapies include three cyclic antidepressant, duloxetin, venlafaxine, gabapentin, pregabalin, and topical lidocaine. Limitation to treatment include incomplete pain relief and medication side effect profiles. And for this reason, future research consideration include the use of validated screening tools, multimodal medication combination, and phenotype subtyping. And now we propose you to have a multiple choice question in pain management. For example, Opioid do what for pain? And we have to trace between E, B, and C. Alter stimuli response and perception. Central nervous system depression decrease prostaglandin production. Non anti inflammatory steroidal carry common potential side effects such as anaphylaxis gastrointestinal intestinal bleeding, nausea or constipation. And as presentation, a client with diabetic neuropathy reports a burning electrical type in the lower extremities that is not responding to non-anti-inflammatory. You anticipate that the physician will order which adjuvant medication for this type of pain, amitriptyline, corticosteroid or lorazepam. And, of course, the choice is amitriptyline. In applying the principle of pain treatment, what is the first consideration? Treatment is based on client goal. A multidisciplinary approach in, is needed. The client must be believed about perception of own pain. Drug side effects must be prevented and managed. Neuropathic pain can be used and caused by an increased release of certain neurotransmitters that sign time. It can also be caused by a nerve inability to regulate the sinus. A common treatment for neuropathic pain can include trazodone, gabapentin, or levothyroxine. 
During the past two decades, the opioid epidemic has escalated with adverse consequences. Which of the following factors have contributed to the rise of the opioid epidemic? Prevalence of chronic pain, healthcare course, limit of physician prescribing, or both? Pain is a common complaint among older people. According to the American Geriatric Society update guideline, which class of drugs should be considered rarely and with extreme caution in highly selective individuals due to increased cardiovascular risk, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, opioid, anxiolytics, or antidepressants. Hope that all information about pain medication are useful for pain management and uh, we try to describe the main uh, approach of uh, pain medication in terms of classification, uh, mechanism of action, uh, indication, contraindication, and adverse effect and administration. Thank you for your attention and hope that it was useful for your uh, practical activity and uh, try to help you in um, uh, your activity in pain management.